I'm live. Hello. All right, I probably cannot wear these because I just look. All you see is ring light. All right, hi guys. So today we are live right now. So if you're watching this on the court at recording, that's what's happening. That's the situation. It is hot as a mug. It's a really hot. Is it me or am I really fuzzy? There we go. I was like, did I just? Because when I take off my glasses, sometimes I can't see. Okay, so we are going to pull cards for this week, which is starting on Sunday. So I'm going to do starting from Sunday the 13th until Saturday the 20th. So if you guys are watching this on the recording, my name is Darian. Welcome to Darian Empire, my channel. Subscribe here if you want to see many, many more things like this. Music, magic, and motivation, as well as tower readings, which fits into the magic category now, doesn't it? Okay, what am I doing with my life? I was gonna burn some sage here. How's everybody doing? While I'm here, I'll burn some sage. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna do Palo Santo. So if you are here, let me know. Say hello and where you are from. And if you did not watch my, I just released a new video yesterday. If you didn't watch it, check that out when you're done here. Um, my daughter is in her bedroom, like right next door, uh, listening to like all sorts of music. Hi. Br I cannot say your name. Briz. I'll call you Briz. Hello. I'm just uh, doing a little Palo Santo. I should probably crack a window. What do you think? I think I might need to do that because I'm going to smoke myself out here. Briz is perfect. Okay. You can call me Dar. <laughs> All right. One sec. need some ventilation in here. Oh, look at me. I'm in my bedroom. I'm like crawling on my bed. Hello. Okay. <laughs> so how are you guys feeling for the week? I have my, I got my box of goodies here. So what, since you guys are live, you can actually choose what deck you want me to pull from for this week. Oh my gosh. We have so many. YouTube is better than Facebook live. <laughs> Hi Bubba. YouTube is better than Facebook Live. I actually did a Facebook Live today. Were you on with me today, Bubba? I did one today. And so if you guys, I'm just like pouring out content like it's nobody's business the last couple, the today actually, the last two days. All right. What do you guys want to know for the week? Let's see. I have, I've got, I got the Sacred Creators Oracle deck. That's a good one. I wasn't, I popped in randomly. Oh, Britt loves watching you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know what I don't like about Facebook though? Um, that the comments fade. So I can't like see the comments all the time, you know? Okay. So, if you guys want a reading for this week, and this is going to be some different energy because I'm doing this live, it's definitely going to be different. And I'm doing it live with the, you know, considering the fact that people are going to be watching this um, throughout this week as well. And so, you know, all things in consideration. But let me just tell you the decks that I have. So I have the uh, Cosmos deck. From light gray art lab which is really cool each card was done by a different artist really cool deck um i have the sacred creators oracle deck great for really anybody but people that are entrepreneurs and such i have the traditional weight tarot deck this is the self-care deck i'm not the biggest fan self-care deck from goddess provisions it's i Inside. We had another deck that we got 
that I don't even have here because I just don't like it at all. So I'm not even going to mention it. Oh, I got some past life stuff. I got Archangel Michaels. I got the Star Child tarot. I got lots of tarot decks here. So, oh, and I have the Animal Allies, which I don't know if I've pulled from there before. So you let me know. But here's what I have to do because my energy is a little bit like woo -woo -woo. traditional. All right, you called it. Briz called it. She wants the weight tarot. Okay. So here's what I want you to do, guys that are watching. Glad I didn't miss it. Yippee. Yeah, I came on a little bit late, Diana. But I had to like, you know, fix my face and all this. <laughs> I had to just fix this whole situation. I put on my brows. They were like real heavy. I put on my brows. That's so funny. Like I don't have eyebrows. I do have eyebrows, but I put them on. When you go on camera with no eyebrows, it really shows. And usually when I'm on Facebook Live, I don't even, like on Facebook Live earlier, I didn't put any makeup on. I probably had makeup on from like last night. But today I put, just now I put a little, you know, I put eyebrows on. <laughs> Makes a big difference. Okay. So what I want you guys to do wherever you are, unless of course if you're driving, don't do this. But I want you to just close your eyes. We're going to do actually a quick meditation because I need to get tuned in here if I'm going to be reading you guys. Um, and the energy can tend to be a little bit crazy, especially when we're on live. So if you can, I want you to close your eyes. You always look beautiful. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> um, I want you to close. You don't see me in the morning after I, if I take a shower at night and then I go to bed with wet hair. You guys know I have that real curly hair. That's my natural hair. <laughs> you haven't seen me then. <laughs> you might change your answer. Okay, but thank you. I'm just kidding. Okay, so close your eyes wherever you are, unless you're driving, of course. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just focus your attention on the body, deep within yourself, inside the center of your head, your heart. Focus on the root chakra, which is right at the base of the spine. Focus on just the present moment right here, right now, the energy of the room that you're in. And sort of bring your attention to the center of the earth, just for a moment here. And then imagine yourself drawing a cord all the way from the base of your spine down to the center of the earth. And really just attaching you to Mother Earth to really ground us into this moment. Nice deep breath. I call upon the guides of the highest truth and compassion. I ask that you speak through me. All of the messages that whomever is to watch this video and pay attention Whatever messages you have for them, I ask that you speak through me now. I ask that I become a clear channel, that any ego thoughts or resistant thoughts just move out of the way now so that I can be a clear channel for whomever may be watching this intently for the purpose of receiving messages for this week. Allow the messages to come through as clear guidance for them so that we all have really crystal clear direction for the week of the 13th to the 20th. Woo! Oh my gosh. Okay. So whenever you guys are ready, you can open your eyes, but I actually have to keep mine closed right now because they're actually showing me um, something right now. So they're sending me through a really, really deep maze right now. I mean, it's like deep. It feels like deep underground, maybe not underground, but I'm getting very like Dungeons and Dragons right now. Does that like, I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but it feels very Dungeons and Dragons. It feels very much like this stone maze that I'm being toward. Like I felt myself, it was almost as if I, I just got pulled into like this, this underground maze and wherever the direction is. So maybe that's what Source is trying to tell all of us right now that like, we are going, we're going through this crazy maze, right? But whatever is at the end, I don't know what is at the end. They're not showing me what's at the end, but there is a strong magnetic 
pool that is pulling you there. And if you're feeling like, I mean, I would assume that if you're feeling any resistance to it right now, to this like major shifts that are happening, lots of turning of corners, right? You're turning lots of corners. So if any major shifts are happening for you right now and you're resisting it, it's like that current, that magnetic current is pulling you in that direction, whether you like it or not. And so if you're fighting it, it's going to hurt. It's going to, you're going to feel that resistance. So I suppose my advice would be like what I, as soon as I felt grounded, I really felt this clear picture of them like pulling me through this maze. Like it's like, like we're going like this, right? So what I really feel is uh, the best thing that you can do right now is be present with where you are because each passing moment is going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And so if you, so imagine yourself going through this maze, right? And let's say at each corner you turn, there's like, there's like a big hairy monster right here. And there's like, you know, I don't know, a knight is here. Like I'm totally envisioning Dungeons and Dragons. This might be way before like Bubba. I think this is way before your time. My, my uncle Bubba is on right now. <laughs> One of my family members, but he's young and it's way before his, before his time, probably. But um, so anybody who remembers Dungeons and Dragons, I'm just feeling like that's what I'm seeing. So if you're turning these corners and there's like all these things that are kind of like shocking you at each turn. Each, and when I say each turn, it's like each, each shift that happens in your life. Each thing. I mean, it's, happen, it's happening random or rapidly. Don't do this. Don't go, oh my God, big hairy monster. And then like you're moving this way. Like the, the, the magnetic pool is still pulling you out of the maze and you're stuck on looking at this big hairy monster. Like, whoa, did that really just happen? And I really just passed by that? This is this really like, don't get stuck on those things because you're getting, it's almost like the universe is shifting for you. And it has to pull you in all these crazy directions. Wow, it really reminds me of the tarot card in the Cosmos deck. So I think maybe I should pull from this. And it's kind of funny too, because there's a knight right here. I didn't even shuffle this deck yet. And this card is the knight of fire, um, which this particular one talks about adjusting, camouflage, adaptability, like really having to kind of fake it till you make it. and acting like this guy is kind of like acting like he belongs in the dungeon like he belongs in the kingdom like he's kind of acting like he's a knight there's all these like very knightly knights and this guy's like Ugh. I'm like the unsuspecting one um he's kind of like maybe nobody will figure me out you know he's got this look like oh I hope they don't figure me out and there's all these other knights that are like very knightly you know so that's kind of interesting um but yeah it's gonna be pulling you in all sorts of crazy directions that was very clear to me. Um, wow, okay. I'm seeing a snake as well. That could mean different things for different people, right? It could mean that you're shedding skin. It could mean that this experience is helping you to shed skin. It also could mean that there could be temptation along the way. Um, you know, like the serpent that tempted um, Eve to eat the apple, the forbidden fruit. Um, there could be some temptation along the way. It could come in the form of people, right? So this is just this week, you guys. <laughs> Holy shit. This is just this week. But um, it's funny too because of this just a couple days ago I started connecting with Lilith, which I talked about in my video yesterday. I started, it's so hot in here right now. I started connecting with Lilith and Lilith actually was the serpent. So from the stories that I've read, Lilith, who was Adam's first wife and then left and was like, F the patriarchy and bounced, right? <laughs> the beginning of time. Well, according to the beginning of humanity, according to, uh, according to the Bible. But, um, and then, she, so Lilith came back and embodying the serpent, which was the serpent that tempted, um, tempted Eve to eat the forbidden fruit. And the story that I was reading the other day about Lilith was that it wasn't that Lilith was like, 
trying to snake Eve per se, like what we think of when people snake people, but really that she was like, there's a whole life out there that you don't know about. Like here, come get it. Like there's so much more to this and you know, you know, so come see. Um, but yeah, they're showing me a snake and I'm feeling like when you keep any snakes around you at a arm's length, right? Like if you keep them at a, at a distance, there's something that you can enjoy about them. That's weird coming out of my mouth, but there's something sexy about it. There's something, it's like, it's like when you tiptoe around temptation, there's something really sexy about that. But when you full blown lose all uh, discipline and allow the temptation to take you, um, that's not so fun. But when you tiptoe around temptation, it can be fun. Ooh, that's like, that's some dangerous advice, guys. What the hell? <laughs> That is some dangerous advice. Okay. So I think I'm going to do what I used to do on Facebook Live. And let's just do like, do you want to do like beginning of the week, middle of the week, end of the week? Does that sound about right? So that would be like um, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Should I do Sunday, Monday, Tuesday? We'll just do beginning, middle, middle, end. So it'll be like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday ish, Tuesday, Wednesday ish, Thursday ish. <laughs> so, like Wednesday and Thursday will be the middle of the week. You're going with my flow? All right. <clears throat> Do you have any particular questions, you guys that are on live for this week? Um, and we'll see what kind of comes forth. There is a female energy here right now. A young female energy here right now. Oh, it's getting real creepy now, isn't it? All right, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's not creepy. It's not creepy. She's like, oh, okay, I'll go. No, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just talking to girls, no big deal. All right. Oh, we got the ripped card. The ripped card that, uh, that's good though. That's a good sign. Um, that Meadow ripped when she was a baby. We got this one card that Meadow ripped. Okay. So, I don't know what's going on in the cosmos. Uh, one, first thing that I noticed is that, oh, I'm hanging out with my older cousin, Cynthia. I'm hanging out with my older cousins for the first time and I'm feeling nervous. Is it going to go well? Not sure if the cards can answer this on Saturday. I mean, okay. Oh, okay. So, so the reading that I'm doing right now is going to be Sunday on. So maybe the beginning is going to, so maybe this first card will kind of give you some of that insight. Um, but it will be sort of the remnants of Saturday. So the first thing I'm noticing is the first two cards that we got is five of air, which would technically be the five of swords, and then the hierophant, which is also the Taurus card. Sorry. You're welcome, Cynthia. So the first thing I'm noticing, if we're just looking at the colors here, the energies of the, the first um, half and into like the middle of the week, is really going to be very similar energies. So probably gonna be working on pretty much the same thing. So this is interesting. So the first card that we got, which is technically the Five of Swords, which is so funny. I never think about what this is in the traditional deck. Oh, you guys asked, you asked for the Weight Tower, so I'll use that for a clarifying deck. Um, but this is a card, let me just show it to you. So it's like this boat that is about to hit some icebergs around here. What this means is that there's some there's some underlying thing, right? So for meeting with your cousin, if there's some 
If there's some underlying stresses that have never been addressed, Sunday I plan to go see my love interest, MDC. Will it go well? What's MDC? Maryland, DC? All right, so this is great. If, if this has to do with relationships, there is some underlying shit happening right now that that either is going to come up. I don't, oh, that's his initials. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't really see that it's going to be, there's just something with the structure of your relationships that could be something big that could, there could be, I'm not saying that there could be a collision necessarily, but there's something to do with the foundation. Now, whether this has to do with relationships or not, there's something to do with the foundation of how you're living your life, how you're thinking, how you're really how your relationships are. I think those are the two main things, like how you're living your life and how your relationships are. There is something about foundational work that needs to occur here. Now, what that really looks like in everyday life is kind of getting back to basics, figuring out like what's really important. What, when it comes to relationship, it's, it's gonna be like, what haven't I said? What haven't I said that needs to be said? But also, if, if you're imagining yourself just clean slate starting from fresh, what do I want my the first brick of the foundation of this relationship or my new lifestyle change? It is the new 2019, right? What do I want that to look and feel like? Right? So sometimes it takes sweeping away of that old conflict that you may have had and saying, okay, what am I leaving behind and what am I taking with me? Like what is really going to make the foundation of this strong and sturdy, you know? And then we've got the Hierophant, Hierophant, which means in the middle of the week, we're going to have to start kind of getting back to basics and doing what we traditionally know is best for us, right? It's going to be like, you know, eating healthy or, um, talking to friends that we know we like, that don't maybe don't have issues with, right? So, so um, the higher fin is all about traditional things, right? But Taurus in particular is about systems. It's about his initials. Hi, Kat. Thanks for the sunflower. Um, it's about practice, right? Practice is a really good foundational kind of work. And when you think about the Hierophant, the Hierophant, um, I look at it as like the Bible and organized religion as opposed to the high priestess, which is spirituality, right? That thing, they're, neither, of, neither of them are, like they come sometimes hand in hand, not always. But sometimes that structure is really, really good. So I've been really feeling a lot in my life, like the structure, um, building structure right now is going to be really, like it feels really good. And I think that's the new year. This is what, the second, third week of the new year coming up. And so, wow, is it really? That's going fast. Um, <laughs> and we're really ready to build some new structures here. So that worrying about the foundation, we might see clearly in the beginning of the week here that there are some foundational issues going on, right? Some things that we don't want to bring forth, some places in our lives where we don't actually have structure, that we need it. And there might have been a time, like, listen, in 2018, there were times where I couldn't even have structure. Like, I was just such a hot mess that structure was just like, I was like, if I can just get out of bed a day, a, some days, I'm good. Like, that's the most structure you're going to get out of me. But there was no structure. And now it actually feels good to create structure. So in the in the middle of the week, that's what we're going to actually be implementing that. I think that the beginning of the week is going to help us to gain some clarity on what aspects of our lives are going to need that structure. And then in the middle, we'll be able to actually implement that. And then towards the end of the week, we've got a very different energy here. If you look at the colors here are all the same, actually. They look a little bit different, but 
They even both have the same like pink kind of colors. And these are all done by different artists, but the colors are so similar. It just, like, it feels so similar to me that those two are very related. And then this feels like it might be something that's not even related to your structure, but the structure, having that basis is going to maybe get you into closer to the vortex or feeling more confident or whatever. And we got the Pegasus card. So the Pegasus is from humble beginnings to your true potential, right? So imagine the Pegasus is very just like spreading your wings and it's also the wheel of fortune which is sort of coming full circle with things, which is um, completion. It's sort of like that reward at the end of your hard work. Um, I feel like it's going to be something that is not, not necessarily completely related to the, um, the beginning of the week with the structure. Like, I don't know. It could just be like you, you have like a fun party to go to or something. You know what I mean? I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to get some clarifying cards from the traditional weight tarot deck. Now, these are, of course, very like vague readings because I'm doing a reading for everyone that's going to be watching this. But you can do personal readings with me on my website at DarianEmpire.com. I'm doing New Year's specials. I actually have to, I have to fix the special, but there's new year specials up right now for one-on-one -on -one, like zoom sessions. And there is, um, like video messages that you can video readings. You can purchase like a recorded video reading and all that fun stuff. Okay. It's funny that we're really talking about structure, the cards that are coming up with structure, um, because I felt that pull, yippee, yeah. I felt that pull when I started to see the vision of the maze. Like it was, we're in a maze, but it was structure. I mean, it was, it was foundational. It was very underground, right? It was like Dungeons and Dragons. All right, all right, guys. Holy crap, okay. Three cards just flew out. Okay. All right, interesting. Let me just get another clarifying card for this one because we just got a Ten of Swords. Ooh, okay. Hmm, all right. Okay. So this weekend, next weekend, we're talking, we've got some shit going down that is going to develop some growth. We might have some ish from our past, right? So let me just show you the cards we pulled. Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Strength card to clarify. So... But we pulled that with the Wheel of Fortune and the Pegasus card. So we know that the outcome is going to be something really, really beautiful. It's like we're going to be kind of spreading our wings. But we might have some shit coming up from our past. This actually doesn't mean it's a bad thing, actually. It doesn't at all. But, like, you might feel like somebody who stabbed you in the back. In I just got kicked off. Isn't that crazy? Buffering, yes, I'm back. Hello, hello, star climber. Buffering, yes, I'm back. Uh -oh. Hello, hello, star climber. Buffering, yes, I'm back. No, I'm echoing. Okay. That was weird. Okay. I feel like that happened because they're trying to tell me something. So I'm listening. What would you like? Okay. So... There is going to be a quick, rapid shift. They're saying that it's like, it might, it's not necessarily someone who stabbed you in the back. It could be someone who you stabbed in the back in the past. Um, it could also be You stabbing yourself in the back in the past, that's weird. More like shooting yourself in the foot, I guess. 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go into the rest of this. Me too. I'm going to go into the rest of the clarifications that I asked for here. Um, because there's something going on with next weekend that they're trying to show me. Okay. So we just got some clarifying cards. We got the eight of pence. Hey, Gabby. How are you? Happy New Year. We got the eight of pentacles that's going with the uh, five of air that we pulled. So, I mean, this is really just showing, again, this, this still feels very much like foundational work. It's very much like I see you guys, like for me, just, just now before I got on here, maybe like two hours ago, I was like looking at finances, looking at something, like working out some new structures. I miss you guys too. I'll be back soon. Don't you worry. But I think it's really a time in the beginning of this week, this upcoming week. Hello, hello, Sir Lisa. Oh, that's cool. In the beginning of this upcoming week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I think that it's really time for you to, Taylor, hi. I'm assuming that um, your phone auto-corrected my name, Darian Adrian, because you just switched the D and the A. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the beginning of the week, I'm feeling like it's going to be a really, really, really good time to just go over things, whether it be in your relationships, in your life, in your finances, in your career and whatever, just really go over things, which is, this is the perfect time to do that for the beginning of the year. And notice like what need, what part of the structure of my life needs needs a little bit of work. You know what I mean? Where, where do I need to, I just think it, it will help you to kind of do an overview. Have you guys done an overview of your whole life? <laughs> it's going to be really good to do the beginning of the week. Moon is in Sag, review and reflection. There you go, girl. I just said before I came on here, I was like, I don't know what is going on with the, um, with the astrology, but usually when I do readings, it goes right along with the astrology. Um, so the other card that we pulled with the Hierophant, which is implementing these new practices, right? So it's implementing the new philosophies. It's getting that structure. We got the queen of wands, which feels more like a fierce, fiery energy. Um, I'm feeling like there's going to be a little bit more passion involved, right? It's not, it's not going to be. I got to do new structures because this is what I need. It's actually going to be structures that feel really, really good. Like, just like, I feel like this reading is just telling me exactly what I saw when I first came on here. Just like when I saw that vision of, of us all being in that maze, really that magnetic pool, that magnetic pool feels like that queen of wands, sort of like pulling us in this very structured thing you know all right but the end of the week there's something happening in the end of the week that is going to give us a lot of strength it's going to be a quick full circle a quick uh something you've been man i hope this happens for me some sort of karmic thing you've been waiting to happen it's going to be quick. It's going to be a quick full circle. It's going to be, it's almost like I'm seeing this, this wheel. I'm seeing the wheel of fortune turning like this and just like turning upside down. And then all of a sudden life is different. I don't think it's going to be that huge for everybody, but it is going to be, it is going to be something that you're like, I've been waiting for this, you know? Oh, shit. In a maze with Dari, I see music, laughs, and adventure. <laughs> you know, with me, yeah. <laughs> okay, I just want to get one last card for this. Give me a little bit more clarity. So now I'm just interested in, like, what is going on? There's lots of orange energy. It's, it's different than the beginning of the week. So you got Jupiter conversation persuasion and charisma i pulled this from the oracle deck of the cosmos if you can see it all right so 
there's something going on this weekend that's going to help you to transform some shit that you looked at as there's like some sort of an alchemy happening this weekend. It's going to help you transform some shit that you looked at as either being stabbed in the back, stabbing people in the back, but it also could be a lot of just negative thoughts. Like even thoughts can feel like daggers, right? And that's what I meant by, I think like, if you feel like you stabbed yourself in the back, it's almost like just having these thoughts that feel like daggers, these negative thoughts that constantly feel like daggers. There's going to be a swift shift, a swift shift. And there is going to be some form of communication because we've got, we got conversation and the eight of wands that sometimes can mean communication as well. Robin, yes. Um, so if, if you guys have been waiting, oh my God, for me, I'm just like, oh God, don't tell me. I don't want to communicate with people. <laughs> But if you guys have been waiting, that would be nice transforming thoughts. Yeah. If you guys have been waiting for communication from someone, now this is like Friday, Saturday of next week, not like tomorrow and Saturday, but Friday, Saturday of next week. If you've been waiting for some form of communication from someone, or if you come around, I have been waiting and waiting. Well, there you go. There will be communication and it actually will be good communication. Like I'm feeling like you're going to transform things and it's not going to be heavy. Like it's almost like you're going to have maybe like a, a talk you should have had a long, long time or a talk that you could have had a really long time ago that would have made things like it would have made all this like hell go away. But it's almost like you've been holding on to these swords. You've been holding on to these swords, man. And it's, it's funny because that's actually a different card where you're actually holding on to swords. But this is like holding on to these I got stabbed in the back kind of thoughts that maybe you connect with this person and everything's like hunky dory and it's great. And all of a sudden you just feel healed just from having the conversation because a lot of like maybe a lot of the shit that you felt was like a disconnect between you and this person. It could even be communication with source. It could be any kind of communication. But that so those negative thoughts have been making you feel like you kind of got stabbed in the back or whatever that may be. Those are actually like, could actually just be like a figment of your imagination. Like they, that, oh, and that could be the serpent. I've been stuck in this three, oh, three fracking years. Oh, three fucking years. <laughs> Girl, listen, it's 2019 now, right? We got things changing. Um, wow, moving from vulnerability to courage through fear. Love it. Yes. So yeah, I'm feeling like, you know how sometimes, sometimes you heal through the dark shit and sometimes you just heal through the light shit like it's almost like when it when another human being restores your faith in humanity right when another human being restores your faith in humanity and what does that feel like like when you think you have this belief that like everybody in the world is just like a shitty person and then all of a sudden you meet somebody that's so genuine like to the fucking core kind good genuine loving person and it just shifts your whole mindset about people. That's what I'm feeling for this. Like all of a sudden you're just like, oh, that's the way it looks. That's the way I like, that's a whole, it's like, it's a whole new world. So it's almost like this is kind of like, whoa. and you're, you got the strength card. I'm feeling like this is strengthening your mindset. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. There it is. This is strengthening your mindset. Right. This is it's almost like solidify. It's like affirming this positive, more positive mindset. I used to not I used to not not my cousins. So that makes you know, used to not like your cousins. Yeah. Yeah. And it could do with it could have to do with anything, because like I said, the beginning of this week, this upcoming week is these energies are very similar. Right. Like just the color of the cards. Are very similar these cards I can't even pick them all up but these cards have a different energy there's a lot more like orange earthy colors the energy feels different to me um, whereas like there's a lot more cool tones in the beginning 
of the week. So the, the energy is definitely different, but it's exciting. It feels good to me. It feels like a really, really good energy. Like there's a lot more water in the beginning of the, um, a lot more water energy in the beginning of the week, the beginning and the middle of the week. And then at the end of the week, there's a lot more sun energy to me. Um, a lot more, it feels like autumn, if that makes any sense. Oh, but I, what I was going to say about the serpent was that these thoughts could all just be like illusions that are really making things feel a lot worse for you than they actually are. Um, that that could be the serpent. So for those of you that are just hopping on right now, I saw a serpent in the beginning. I saw, I had a vision of a serpent before, um, I did, got into the reading and it was all about like not leading into temptations um, and kind of keeping temptations at an arm length. That could come in the form of a person. It could also come in the form of um, thoughts yourself, you know. Um, I'm also feeling like, because I did say dance around the temptation. So if there could be somebody that comes to you that they are charismatic and they are wonderful. Here's what I want to say to you just because I feel like I should say it. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. All right, guys? And if you are going to, put it in the basket that is you. Right? Like if you're going to, if you're a betting man or woman, bet on yourself. Don't bet on other people. And what I mean by that is like people could come in and be like amazing. And that's amazing. But don't start putting all your eggs in that basket. Like, this person is going to carry me through to this new life. No. If you meet somebody that's amazing, that restores your faith in humanity, take that energy with you and solidify it within yourself. Don't continue to ride their coattails of, like, needing to always see that person being kind in order to believe that people are kind. You see them being kind, and then you feel the feelings, and you take that. And you go, oh, I want to see more of that. What would it look like if I could see more of that? So you just use that as, an, as a point of attraction. Don't bet your whole life on it. You know, that's just, that's just my own advice. So that is your reading for January uh, 13th to the 20th, Sunday to Saturday, this upcoming Sunday to Saturday. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry for the little glitch that I had in the middle there. I actually, I may come right on a full moon and eclipse happening about the 20th going to shift again yes thank you karen um i yes we are in eclipse season for those of you that don't know we just had our new moon solar eclipse i don't know about y'all but i have been exhausted i've been like my whole body is stiff i should probably drink a lot more water um we had that new moon in capricorn on the fifth sixth for some of us and uh yeah still I'm still feeling that like solar eclipse energy I'm just like Aww. and I do know that you know everybody says like in eclipse season so for the next two weeks for those of you that don't know it's uh we're almost at 44 44 by the way god I've been on for 45 minutes I talk too damn much um in between eclipses so we get the solar eclipse on the new moon lunar eclipse on the full moon um that two weeks is where things do kind of shift. Things are kind of like wonky. And so because this is up until the 20th, that is why it just dawned on me now why we are getting that crazy shift in energy. Um, so things are going to flip us kind of upside down, but in a really good way. Like it's not like the hanged man flipped upside down. It's the wheel of fortune flipped upside down. Um, so it's almost like when you shift the perception you realize new fortunes, if that makes sense. All right, guys, thank you so much. I may or may not actually write back on and do the monthly reading because I want to have separate videos. Um, I don't know, but check back in a minute, maybe. We'll see if I feel, if I have the energy. I might have to meditate first or like take a nap. I don't know. <laughs> but thank you for being on with me. And I will see you on the next video. Make sure you go check out my channel. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. The Hierophant, I just got that card. Yeah, we pulled that card too. Um, 
yeah, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I will do all sorts of what I'm just calling music, magic, and motivation now because that's what my channel is pretty much based off of. Um, so yeah, go check out my channel. I just did a new video yesterday. You're so welcome, everybody. Thank you for being on with me. Definitely hop on if, again, maybe later on today, tonight, if, um, if I just check back, if I get on live. And... Um, Mm, I think that's it. Subscribe to the channel. I think I said that. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.